Hey guys, I'm Charlotte and welcome back to Random Keto. Today we're going to be making chewy keto chocolate chip cookies. You're gonna need the usual things that you would need to make cookies, a bowl, a mixer, a cookie scoop, or two spoons and a lot of skill. All of these ingredients, so I'll just go through them and yeah, I've never done like a recipe recipe before, so oh, I'm so excited. Okay, okay. Gotta bring it down. So the first thing that we're going to do is you're going to need two sticks of softened butter. So we're just gonna plop our, our butter sticks in our bowl here. Okay, and now we're going to add um, one cup of allulose. I ran out of the Splenda allulose, which I really like, and that's what I used to test the batch the first time. I've never used this brand before. It seems like it's a little finer. It's not quite as granular, so I'm not sure how that's gonna change the texture. So if they're terrible, we can blame it on that. Links to all relevant products and tools will of course be in the description below. One cup of allulose in the bowl. And then you'll need one cup of some kind of substitute brown sugar. I made my own brown sugar substitute by putting a cup of allulose and one tablespoon of this molasses um, in the food processor and buzzing it up. So this is one cup, it's gonna go in. Oh dear. The next thing we're gonna do is real simple. We're gonna cream this together. I don't know why, but it's literally tradition for me to start this uh, with a wooden spoon and cream it together. It's unclear to me because I use a beater later and it's an extra dish that I technically don't even have to use and you guys know that I am all about not using extra dishes, but it just feels wrong to not use a wooden spoon to cream it together. It just feels wrong, I don't know. You can skip this step, but for me it's, it's essential. Use the spoon. All right, now set your tradition spoon aside and cream the rest of it together using a mixer. <laughs> now we need two large eggs, or two medium eggs if you're trying to save some money, and we're going to crack them in one at a time, blend it thoroughly, and then crack the other one in. incorporated I want you to put it on like a, a medium low speed and beat it for like a full minute or until it visibly starts to kind of get lighter as the air is whipped into it. Now we need to add in one teaspoon of pure vanilla or you can use vanilla extract and next we're gonna need one teaspoon of salt. Now we add our flour. This recipe calls for two and a half to three cups of flour. Hi. Hello, you're so pretty. You saying hello to the YouTube? Hello, YouTube. They love it when you say hello. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> they always see me in the same coat. Oh no, they know where you live. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't work there anymore, stalker weirdos. Just kidding, I know none of you guys are stalker weirdos. If you're a stalker weirdo, you just let me know in the comments down below. Making cookies. We're making cookies. Yeah. I almost died. Yeah, I saw that. You okay? I left a package there. <laughs> so now we come to the fun part. Now we take our forsaken, either your wooden spoon or your spatula, whichever you want. Now I'm not going to scrape down the beaters too thoroughly because, you know, I just. Someone is gonna have to eat these, and it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. So next, you can take your sugar-free chocolate chips of choice. These are seven ounces a piece. Normally, I use a 12-ounce bag of chocolate chips. Obviously, seven and seven is 14 ounces, which means you can either have extra chocolate chips, ooh, no one minds that, or you can just have seven. You can measure it out like on a scale. I'm just gonna put both of these in. I don't mind. Actually, I've changed my mind. I'm gonna weigh out 12 ounces just because it would be nice to have some chocolate chips around, you know, just in case. Ounces, ounces. I don't know why I'm weighing this one as if that matters. 12 ounces in. 
These smell amazing. I've never used Lily's before. I've only used the, the generic sugar-free. And wow, I didn't expect them to smell so real and chocolatey. Maybe I should have added another half cup of flour. It'll probably be fine. <laughs> Now, I'm just realizing I should have told you earlier to go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Here is how the dough looks. Step one, lick the beaters. <laughs> like it gives you that same rush of sugar without the rush of sugar. Oh my gosh. If you're not worried about salmonella and you just want some cookie dough to eat on like movie night, this is your cookie dough. And you know, you could leave out the eggs and then only put in one cup of flour and then you would have an edible cookie dough. So I don't grease my pan. This is a nonstick despite all the stains, ignore that. Scoop out some cookies. From my experience, they're not gonna spread out a ton. So I'm gonna put them fairly close together. Here's my pan and it's gonna go in the oven. The first batch I put in for nine minutes and then I decide how long to leave it in. And if, you know, it's not too bad at nine minutes, then every subsequent batch I check at 10 minutes. So I will, you know, let you know how long it actually took when these come out. So they just came fresh out of the oven. I checked on them at nine minutes and they were perfect. So that one I smooshed with my oven mitt when I got it out. There's some cookie on there. <laughs> they look beautiful. So I'm gonna leave them on the pan for a little while so they can kind of do their thing because they're gonna be very liquidy right now while they're still warm. And once they've cooled down a little bit, I'm gonna, you know, take them off, put them on a cooling rack. I'll give them a taste test while I continue putting the other cookie dough in the oven. I am so excited. <laughs> I know I've already made these before, but I just, I can't believe that it's a real thing that's happening to me. I had to wash a spatula because you know that I can never be fully prepared for these videos. That would be ridiculous. This is the worst spatula ever to get cookies off. <gasps> that looks just like the cookies I used to make. I can't believe this is happening to me. The thing is, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be keto for life. If I can have these homemade chocolate chip cookies. All right, I may have left them on the pan slightly too long. They're just kind of sticking a little bit. Or I should have done a better spatula. This is from the Dollar Tree and I've had it for a while. So like the plastic is literally beginning to erode so it doesn't have that nice crisp edge anymore. It's like less a chisel and more like a baseball bat. <laughs> I'm gonna put another batch in real quick and then I'll be back for a taste test and final conclusions. <laughs> I'm trying really hard to not eat the cookie dough because I'm trying to see how many cookies this recipe yields, but it is so difficult because it's so good and it's right here in front of me. And normally when I make cookies back before, I would eat so much cookie dough that I would make myself like borderline sick, but it was the best sick because it was cookie dough sick. I'm getting too excited. <laughs> Honestly, I actually like the cookie dough better than the cookies. Not like in this particular recipe, like in general. There used to be a period of time where I would make a batch of cookie dough at the beginning of the week and then that I would just snack on it. At the end of the night, my husband and I would sit down and watch a movie after the kids are in bed and I would just get a couple of spoonfuls of cookie dough and just eat it raw. I'm talking too much. I have to try one of these cookies. I'm gonna try the smooshed one because I definitely won't need that for the thumbnail. <laughs> so here's a more perfect one just as a close up. I'm so excited. Okay, look how floppy it is, by the way. That's how chewy it is, okay? Obviously, you can cook it to your preferred doneness if you like them to be crispier. Here's the bottom. <laughs> Should I go with one for more chocolate chips or less? Life is good. <laughs> oh my gosh, I could eat this in one bite. It's even chewier than a regular cookie, okay? As far as like, in a good way. It's perfect. It is absolutely perfect. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Actually, I wish it had a tiny bit more salt. 
because I think that the chocolate is slightly different than regular chocolate chips. It's a little richer in a, in a good way, but because it's richer, it needs a little more salt just to give it a kiss of contrast. I am going to recommend using salted butter. Is that going to be too salty? I don't know, you guys. Make it one time as the recipe is and you decide. You decide what you think and then after that, do whatever you want with it, guys. The possibilities are endless. I want to eat this whole thing. You're definitely going to need a glass of your choice of milk. Almond milk, fair life milk, or a glass of water because that chocolate is rich. Here, I want to get you in the shot nicely. Excuse me. <laughs> No, it's all over. That is really good. It's ooey gooey chewy. Mm. So what do you think? Super good. Really, really good. Okay. Tastes just like a normal chocolate chip cookie. Where's but the butt? But more delicious. Hmm? Oh, I thought you were going to say butt something. But they're perfect. <laughs> I personally really like chewy cookies. And gooey cookies even better. Are these, I mean, these are chewy and gooey, right? Chewy and gooey. I don't like crunchy cookies. Crunchy cookies, mm-mm. Oh, if I have to work to eat my dessert, mm -mm. You're sweet. I'm fine. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All of the macros and the yield and all of that will be in the description below uh, with the recipe, of course. I want you to have these cookies in your life. If you like chewy, ooey, cho chocolate chip cookies and you miss them, these are it. Try them. Well, I gotta make about another three dozen cookies, so I'm gonna get going. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a good one. Bye, y'all.